Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how to set up a smart TV that has the Google TV operating system built into it. So I'm gonna take you over to the TV that's now plugged in to walk you through this process. So once you have your TV plugged in, it should go through a boot up phase where it shows the Google TV logo and eventually it'll take you to this page that shows you the remote. So we're gonna put the batteries into the back of the remote that came with our TV. And once we have those batteries in, what we want to do is press and hold the back and the home button. For this particular model, it might be different for whichever Google TV that you're using. So I'm going to hold down the back and the home buttons simultaneously. And you can see we get that light to blink at the top of the remote. And I can see once it's paired up, it goes from red to blue. And then we get a little check mark on the TV there. This is gonna take us to the welcome screen where we need to select the language that we'd like to set up in. For me, I'm gonna click select on English. Then selecting your country or region. For me, I'm gonna click the United States. And this is gonna give you a couple of different options, whether you wanna set this up as a Google TV or set it up as a basic TV. I recommend most of you go with the Google TV option. It's gonna give you more features. If you set this up as a basic TV, essentially you're only gonna be getting access to live TV and external devices. For instance, maybe you have a TV antenna plugged in and a DVD player. So those would be the kind of things that you could use. Whereas if you set it up with Google TV and a Google account, then you get access to all of your favorite streaming apps such as Netflix, Disney+, Plus, YouTube, HBO, the list goes on and on with all the apps that you're gonna get access to. And like I said, most of you guys are going to want to go through the Google TV setup option, but there might be some situations where maybe you have an older person or somebody who doesn't have the internet or they don't have any interest in using streaming apps and they just want to use it, maybe hooking up their cable box, their antenna, and maybe a DVD player or something like that. You can set it up as a basic TV, but I'm going to go through the Google TV setup option, so clicking select on that. And we're going to be setting this up with the Google Home app. So download and open the Google Home app on your phone to get started. When instructed in the app, scan this QR code. All right, guys. So now over on my smartphone, you can see right here, I have the Google Home app. If you don't already have this app on your phone, you can download and install it either through the Google Play Store if you're on an Android device or the Apple App Store if you're on an Apple device. But I'm going to launch the Google Home application. And then I'm going to go down here towards the bottom and click on where it says Devices. And I'm going to be adding a Google TV, so I'm going to click this little plus sign where it says Add, selecting that. And for choosing a device, we want to select the option where it says it's labeled as Seamless Setup with Google Home app. So this is the Google Nest or Partner Device option that we're going to select here. And if you don't already have a home added in the Google Home app, you can do so here. I'm selecting My Home and then clicking Next. We're going to give Location Access. And in my app permissions, I'm going to make sure that it has Location Access for this to work. And you need to make sure that you have your Bluetooth turned on. So I'm going to turn on Bluetooth on my phone. And at this point, it's looking for devices. And the Google TV device has been found. Would you like to set up your Google TV 7002? So this is the code in the upper left-hand corner of my Google TV. So it has found the correct device, and I'd like to set this up. So I'm going to click on Yes. And I need to give the Google Home app camera permission so that it can scan the QR code and set up the device. So I'm going to scan the code. And at this point, I'm going to take my phone over to my TV to scan the QR code that's on screen. Once you scan the code, it shouldn't take too long for it to successfully hook up. And once it's successfully connected, it's going to take you over to this page where it says hello. And by selecting accept, you agree to the Google terms of service, the play terms of service and privacy policy. So if you want to check those over, you can do so. And if you want to accept these, you can click accept at the bottom. And for me, this TV is going to be in a bedroom. So I'm going to select that option right here and then click next. And now I need to connect the TV up with my Wi-Fi internet. So the name of my Wi-Fi router is ASUS22, so I have that selected, and then click Next. Then you need to enter in your Wi-Fi password. So for your router, enter in your Wi-Fi password, and then click Next. And once we click Connect, it should take just a little bit of time for it to connect up to Wi-Fi to your Google TV using your Wi-Fi router. And after going through some additional pages, eventually you'll get to this page where it says Choose Your Subscriptions. So any apps that you would like to have set up on your Google TV, we can select them here. So I'm going to have YouTube and YouTube Music selected. And then also I'm going to select Twitch TV and Tubi TV. And then I'm going to click Next. And again, some additional pages that you can go through and either accept or decline different features. But at the end, you'll get to this page where it says Setup Here is Finished. Complete setup on the TV screen with your remote. So I'm going to click Done. So I'm going to take you back over to my TV to finish up this setup process. 
After setting things up on our phone, going back over to our TV, and it's just giving you some different things that you can search for using Google Assistant with your Google TV. So we're gonna click select on continue. If you'd like a Google Assistant to be able to search across to all of your TV apps when you're searching for things, then you can click OK on Allow. And you can activate voice match on this TV so Google Assistant can use your previously recorded voice clips to recognize your voice on this device too. So I'm gonna to agree to that. And also you have the option if you want, you can turn on personal results where it's basically using your information to give you better personalized results when using Assistant and things like that. So if you'd like, you can turn that on. Otherwise you can say no thanks. Then select your time zone. For me, it's gonna be Eastern time. And on this particular TV, it's asking me to enter in a password or a pin code. So I'm gonna input a pin code here and then move on. And this TV is for home use, so selecting OK on that. And you can choose your energy option. I'm gonna do power saving mode. If you have antenna or cable hooked up to this TV, you can set those up here. Otherwise, you can go on to the next step. And for me on this Hisense TV, it wants me to read through the disclaimer. And if I accept, I can do so by clicking the accept. And also Hisense wants me to register my TV through their website. So I can do that if I'd like. Otherwise, I'm just going to move on to the next step. And it's now setting up Google TV on my Hisense TV. So it's going to download and install that experience. And this might take a little bit of time. It just depends on the speed of your internet and how good of a signal that you're getting. And once it's done downloading and installing, at this point we can set up a profile lock if you want, but I'm just gonna go on to start exploring. And finally, that's gonna take us to the homepage of Google TV. So we have a lot of different options here. If we go down here on our homepage, we can see all of these different apps that we have access to that are already downloaded and installed and we can open them up with our remote and it will launch those specific apps. And particularly with these premium apps like Netflix, you need a paid subscription to get access to these and it will prompt you to log in and confirm your Netflix account in this instance with this app. Anytime we're in an app, if we click the home button on our remote, it takes us right back to the For You page that has all of our different apps on it. Going back here towards the top, we can go to the Live tab, and it's actually kind of nice. Google TV currently has 150 free built-in channels that you can look through and get access to different content, seeing it through there, so that's kind of nice. And then additionally, you also have the Apps tab. So if there's applications that you'd like to get access to that aren't already on your device, then you can search for those apps in this area, download and install them. So let's say, for instance, I'd like to download and install the Roku app on this TV. I can search for that app in this area. So searching for Roku, and there's a lot of nice free content on there as well. So entering in Roku and searching Results for that. For Roku. So the Roku channel is right here, selecting that and then clicking install. And once it's done installing, we can open up that app right from the download page or we can head back to our home page. And in our For You tab, I can see that in my apps, it's moved the Roku channel right here towards the end of the line. If I'd like to move this, I can hold down the select button and then click select on move. And then I can drop this wherever I'd like it to be located in my apps area. Beyond that, you can check out your library. So through your Google account, if you have any purchases, rentals, things such as that, those will show up in this area. Continuing on, we can go over to this little settings gear. And then again, I'm gonna click on the settings gear to open up all settings. So if you ever run into a situation where you need to change your settings, such as maybe you need to adjust your Wi-Fi internet connection, maybe you need to connect up to a different router. And there's a lot of different things that you can change and set up in this area. I can't touch on all of that in this short video, but as we're getting towards the end here, this is actually a lot more complicated of a process than I was expecting going into it. I'm really glad I made this video because I'm sure there's some people out there that have had some confusion setting up Google TV through their smart TV, because not only do you have to set it up through the TV itself, but you have to go through a smartphone, link it up to a Google account, go through the Google Home, application and if you've never done that before or maybe you're just not very tech savvy this can be a little bit of a daunting process but it's definitely worth it going through that google tv setup option instead of the basic setup option because that's what gets us access to all these different streaming video apps and that's going to be important to a lot of people that are getting a smart tv they want to have access to these things so i hope this video was helpful if you have any questions you can throw those down in the comment section i appreciate you guys stopping by consider subscribing to the youtube channel and i'll see you back here next time